Well, hi there. This is a Lego set. And it's awesome. But what if I wanted two of them? Well, first I'd need to go out and I would need to get a copy of, well, all of the pieces that were used to make this first set. I'd also need to have enough energy to actually put them all together. Once upon a time, you were a single cell. And that's fine. Most organisms are only a single cell. You, however, are not. Why? Because your cells have been dividing. Even single-celled organisms, like bacteria, divide all the time. That's why there's more than one bacterium in the world. These divisions include mitosis, which makes, well, identical copies of a cell, and meiosis, which makes haploid cells, like sperm and eggs. But the reality is that I can't do any sort of a division without first copying my DNA. Because the problem is, I only have one set of DNA, so I don't have any extra DNA to share with another cell unless I first make a copy. It's also going to take a lot of energy and materials to build a copy of my DNA that I can give away. Not to mention to make copies of all the other organelles that my cell might have. So in order to divide, a cell must first do a little preparing. It needs to gather materials and energy to make DNA and new organelles. It must actually make the new DNA. It must make the new organelles and still have enough energy at the end to actually divide. And that's hard work. All of this together is called interphase. The first step in interphase, gathering materials and energy, is called G1 phase, which stands for gap one. You couldn't make a copy of anything without the energy and materials to do so. The next step in interphase, synthesizing or copying DNA, is called S phase, which stands for synthesis. The final step in interphase is where the cell makes more copies of the organelles and replenishes its energy because division is hard work. This step is called G2 phase, which stands for gap two. So to review, interphase has three steps. Energy and materials are gathered in G1. DNA is copied, synthesized, in S phase. And organelles are made and energy restored in G2 phase. The truth is that you can't make a copy of anything without having the energy and the materials required to do so. And now that the cell has completed interphase, it's ready to go. And now you know. If you learned something from this video, or at least found it useful, please drop a like. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, including videos about mitosis and meiosis, please subscribe and click the little bell. And we hope to see you real soon.